Today we are going to prove the relationship between focal length and radius of curvature. Consider a concave mirror. Incident rays are parallel to the principal axis and very close to the principal axis. So AB is nothing but incident ray and BF reflected ray and BC equals to normal and C is the center of curvature. This distance that is distance PC is equals to R equals to radius of curvature. And PF equals to F equals to focal length. This angle is angle of incidence. And this is angle of reflection. Angle of reflection. And the angle of incident is theta and angle of reflection is also theta. That is angle ABC equals to theta and angle CBF equals to theta because of law of reflection angle of incident equals to angle of reflection. This relationship can be proved by using two cases. In first case, we are going to use the distance PC and in the second case, we are going to use trigonometry. Under case one, for small aperture of mirror, P is, point B is very close to point P implies length PF equals to length FP implies F is center of length CP. Therefore, CP is nothing but FP plus FC. CP is nothing but FP plus FP implies CP equals to 2FP. But, but FP is nothing but focal length and CP, CP nothing but radius of curvature. Therefore, R equals to 2 into F implies F equals to R upon 2. So by using physical distances, we can easily prove F equals to R upon 2. Now we can prove the same relationship by using trigonometry. If B is close to P, pole of the mirror, then, then length CD equals to length CP 
एन लेंथ एफ डी इक्वल्स टू लेंथ एफ पी कॉल इट एज अ वन कॉल इट एज अ टू फ्रॉम ट्राइंगल बी सी डी टेन थीटा इक्वल्स टू अपोजिट साइड दैट इज बी डी अपॉन एडजेसन साइड दैट इज सी डी बट सी डी इज इक्वल टू सी पी देर फोर टेन थीटा इक्वल्स टू बी डी अपॉन सी पी कॉल इट थर्ड नंबर नाउ फ्रॉम ट्रैंगल बी एफ डी टेन टू थीटा इक्वल्स टू बी डी अपॉन एफ डी बट फ्रॉम इक्वेशन टू एफ डी नथिंग बट एफ पी देर फोर बी डी अपॉन एफ पी कॉल इट इक्वेशन नंबर फोर फॉर पैरेक्सियल रेस थीटा इज स्मॉल इम्प्लाइज टेन थीटा Approximately equal to theta and tan two theta. Approximately equal to two theta implies two theta equals to B D upon F P. Call it equation number five. And uh, tan theta equals to B D upon C P implies theta equals to B D upon C P. Now putting the theta value here in equation number five. Therefore, two into BD upon CP equals to BD upon FP. Both side BD and BD get cancelled. Implies two upon CP equals to one upon FP. Implies. F P equals to C P upon two. But from this figure, F P equals to F. That is focal length. And C P equals to R. That is radius of curvature. implies f equals to r upon 2 hence the relationship between the focal length and radius of curvature is proved have you realized how easy it is to prove the relationship between the focal length and radius of curvature i tell you that physics is very easy the easiest subject is the physics don't run away from the physics if you have the similar topics similar difficulties please convey me convey to me and give your comments in the comment box and contact me on my email address provided in the description box so it's time to say goodbye before saying goodbye i would like to request you like share and subscribe the channel wish you good luck all the best Meet you again with another topic. Till then, bye bye.